Marriage Demolition Final Update I've been pondering for days how to even begin to explain what has happened and where things stand. I owed it to those that have given me good advice since my screw-up to give an update. But just writing out what has happened, and all the details and drama, would take way too long. Our lawyers began corresponding. My SDBXW side kept requesting she and I talk, and I kept saying no. Our side tried pushing the negotiations and get the ball rolling on our side. Every time the house and property got mentioned, my lawyer felt they were acting twitchy, whatever that means. But they still wanted to meet face to face and talk saying it was very important for both of our futures, going forward apart or together. I still wanted to say no, but my lawyer pretty much told me I'll have to see her in court eventually and we should meet. They knew we had infidelity evidence and what it was but hadn't seen it. My lawyer wanted to know exactly what they would say and angle they were playing. I just didn't want to see her or hear her voice. They weren't willing to do a group text, so we met. We met in a conference room at my lawyer's office. I was seated when my wife and her lawyer came in. I wanted my gaze to convey a touch of hate with ample disgust thrown in. She started crying and walking toward me so apparently it didn't work. I told her to back the effing up, which made her cry harder. I began moving back and away from her which got her to stop coming forward. I'll spare everybody the specifics, but I pretty much cursed her out worse than any human has been cursed out. Before that fateful night, she'd never heard me yell at her. Before that day in the conference room, I'd never cursed at her, not even that horrible night. I let it all out. Every vile thing I had thought about her, every horrible thing I believed about her, and everything I wished would happen to her. Her lawyer was really shocked, mine was just a little shocked, but I told him to expect it when he agreed to the meeting. My wife finally grasped I meant every word and hated her for what she'd done to us, what she'd done to me. Before the meeting ever started, we had to take a 30-minute break to calm down. When we actually did meet, my wife had a request to speak to me without interruption. I couldn't give a word-for-word -word account of what she said if I tried, so I won't. She started out saying she was extremely sorry for everything that has happened. She wished I would talk to her or answer her texts, but accepted that wasn't going to happen after what I said earlier. Then she went straight into telling me the land we own could be worth a huge amount of money in the not-too-distant future. Apparently, a company I will not name, but everyone has heard of might want to purchase a huge amount of land to build on. The deal would be conditional on getting other landowners to sell. And I'm talking about a ton of acreage that the company would be buying up. Our land is in a zone of the country, X number of miles from a power station, X miles from a major highway, airport, water source, etc. It fits all of their qualifications. Then she said we really need to discuss the land because she can't sell it without me. That is when I stopped her. I said, but you could have if I'd gone to prison, couldn't you? It wasn't a question. I knew the answer from her lawyer's expression. Then she came out saying she told Marcus not to press charges. Effie me running. I wanted to hit someone. But I can't hit a woman and my lawyer would sue me. I didn't care they kept communicating after that night. But it still pee me off. She said they had to stay in contact because he was the person behind the attempted sale. As the agent he stands to make a mint, as the owners we stand to make more. He has government and real estate connections stretching far and wide because of his parents' careers. But when he saw the opportunity to remove me from the equation, he took it. He never showed up anywhere naked, he had clothes in his car. But I didn't know. The cops got a very different story than what actually happened. But I'm not surprised. When I got charged my wife claimed she wouldn't testify, but she couldn't get me to respond to her. She claimed she was glad I got the charges dropped. That was when I asked if she was glad before she found out I had recorded her and Marcus. She didn't answer. I let her and her lawyer see the footage I'd taken by passing them my phone. I don't think my lawyer wanted me showing it. But they knew it existed and I couldn't show it to anyone else yet. I told her that Marcus' wife would see that footage eventually. That's when she told me doing so would be losing out on a ton of money I'd never earn working my job. I asked if that was why she cheated. Money? Greed? ish thee not, she actually told me she cheated for us. The argument that ensued over that comment alone went on for over an hour. We took 
a lunch break, and I went off to eat alone for an hour just to get away from everyone. In one very odd way she given me good news, but it was gift wrapped in SH. The lawyers loved hearing of the potential sale of land. They knew we find out about it eventually and any potential immediate sale I would have to agree to, so they spilled. I can nix the whole deal if I choose to. It won't cost Marcus a cent yet, but it would keep me from making a lot of money. But I can't make a lot of money unless my SDBXW makes a lot of money too. When I went back to the meeting, my wife pretty much explained how all of this got started. She was doing one of those Parade of Homes showings. Marcus Agency was showing two of the homes. They knew who each other were from traveling in the same circles. But he approached her and asked if we were happy living where we were. From there he explained he knew an agent specialized in business slash manufacturing sites. He explained his idea and I guess she saw, saw dollar signs. Marcus, a trusted POS in our area, could probably buy up the land from locals much easier than someone they never met. The two agents working together could easily buy low and sell high. The deal couldn't be made without us, due to the positioning of our land. Marcus and my wife got involved talking to locals and planning things out. Then they got involved physically. So six months before I knew my marriage had ended, it ended. She swore the two of them just got caught up in their excitement over the money. She said it didn't mean anything, it was just that I wanted to try and break my recent world cursing record. But I tried to not explode. I asked if she and that POS had used condoms. She said they did at first but because she was on the pill, well. Six days, six F asterisk 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 ing days. I shouted before calling her a disgusting worthless WH. She asked what I was talking about so I proceeded to explain that when a man orgasms inside a woman, that's how long jizz can stay. Inside her. I really wanted to vomit, thinking about. What she subjected. Me too. I asked how she'd like me go to a prostitute, stick my fingers inside, and then put them in her mouth. Yes, it's disgusting. But it's the equivalent of what she did. She tried to claim she took showers. I told her unless she was able to stand on her head, spread her legs to rinse out she's a nasty SL, and she wondered why I look at her with a revolted expression. It's because I'm revolted. She's disgusting and subjected me against my will to SH. I don't even want to think about. That isn't even taking into consideration things she did with her mouth. Marcus can have the tramp. She's infected with his scuzz now. But I had to get out of there. I was no more good for the rest of the day. I went and got drunk for the first time since my after party at my dad's cabin. Part of me should be really happy, and I am. I know if things work out, I'll be able to pay my lawyers in full, repay my parents tenfold, and have a huge amount of money to start over almost anywhere. But the BS I've had to agree to in order to get that money makes me sicker than my wife. 3D lawyers wrote up an agreement. Our two lawyers wrote up an even split divorce. We cannot divorce until the land sells or the deal falls through, but the divorce will go through and my marriage is over. It isn't like I'm in some hurry to be single so I can marry again. I f asterisk 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 ing ghosted her really well despite my unfortunate marriage status. It isn't like I have to see or talk to the immoral Jezebel. But it does bother me to still have any tie with her in any way. I cannot contact Marcus, wife, not now or in the future. I cannot show the footage of my wife to her parents or family. But she has told them we are divorcing and did admit to having an affair. Either way I got my job back and start next week at a new site. There's talk of having the charges Marcus brought against me sealed from record or something. But my record is clean, thank God. I'm still coming to grips with her excuses and her attitude about those excuses. Granted, I would be gone ten days at a time. At no point did I suspect anything, and our life remained constant. I wish it hadn't now. At least the poor SOB in dead bedrooms don't have to worry about swapping spit with a stranger. Her putting her tongue in his mouth or anywhere else and kissing me was the equivalent of letting a stranger spit in my mouth against my will. But sick cheating trash like my wife and Marcus don't seem to grasp that. I can only imagine Marcus' life with his wife continued during the affair. I really do wonder if she has any idea if she went down on my wife by proxy at some point. Knowing what I know now, I'm glad I punched Marcus in the mouth.
Still glad I didn't kill them or myself. But they are both disgusting. Like lick a hobo's A in an alley on a pile of garbage nasty. Humans just disgust me now. How she could willingly give her body to two different men back and forth is beyond my comprehension. I had many opportunities to cheat over the years, but didn't for many reasons, loyalty being first and foremost. But the idea of F asterisk 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 ing someone I don't know, who could have just been with any number of other people very recently, that's just insane. Condoms BD asterisk 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 ed. Those things break and don't protect from everything. There really is no safe except monogamy. But it only works when both people are faithful and haven't F asterisk 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 ed half the East Coast. I could have come out far, far worse than I should if things go right. But we're definitely looking at next year before things can get rolling. I'll work like I've done for years, but I won't have any place to come home to. She can stay in the house until the sale and pays all costs. The house will be demolished so nobody will live there after the sale. The majority of our land is undeveloped. There is no way in H.E. to move the house out and miles away. When I'm needed to sign paperwork, I'll be given notice and I'll show up to sign. Then our roads part ways faster than my wife's legs for a dollar one hundred bill and I can move on with cash in hand. But she ruined me. And it's not F asterisk 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 ing fair. She cheapened me just by being associated with me. She revealed truth I didn't want to know. Because it all goes back to the first comment on my very first post. I know not every woman is like my wife. I can vouch and say not every guy is a POS like Marcus. But I'll be D asterisk 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 ed if those people don't F it up for the rest of us. Why does it seem two loyal people with a great bond never meet? Almost every post on here is a nice guy slash great girl who got involved with a W slash man W E and the consequences of that bad decision. Forget being able to trust again. I can't get past the idea of ever wanting to trust anyone like that again. Nobody is worth what she put me through. And she sure as H E wasn't. It P asterisk 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 ease me off he's going to get away with it. I guess the world will have to wait and see if karma can scare him like I did. I can't really see any reason for another update. She and I will divorce. Money will be deposited in my account and her account. And I will never see or speak to her again. That's how it will end either way. It's just on hold indefinitely. I want to thank those that gave me advice, told me to keep my mouth shut and urged me to get lawyers. To those that told me to stay strong, I appreciate you. To those that felt I should eat a bullet, go eat a hobo. I will wait a day or two after posting to respond to a few comments, then I'll probably fade away. I wish healing for all of you who have been cheated on, just as I wish it upon myself. Until then, final edit. This will be my last comment to the thread. I appreciate those that have had my back. I also appreciate the people that gave me a kick in the A. To the haters I support your right to do so. Just know I won't be losing any sleep over it. As things stand right now, an April or May sale of the land is most likely. The industrial real estate agent has cleared a lot of the hurdles the company would have to jump through to buy the land. No idea on when clearing and building would start. But I will have my money by that time and won't care. So it is fast-tracked as much as can possibly be done. My wife still calls or texts occasionally but I don't answer slash read or respond. I don't believe she gives a D about me nor did she ever. Just giving your body to random people for their gratification is something alien to me. The fact she has the ability to do that with her body disgusts me and I want no part of her or anyone like her. The fact I value her body more than she actually does truly saddens me. But whatever. I'm done with relationships anyway. There is no way in H.E. I could bring a child into this world with any woman due to my wife's actions. I do want kids. But after the land sale I may in fact go the surrogate route. After her infidelity the only thing my wife could possibly bring to the table is children. Women don't need men for kids now, and I sure don't need another unfaithful, disloyal wife to do it. And at least I'll know my children are being raised morally and ethically. My ex-wife has neither of those things. And with her actions she proved she can never be a good wife. She proved she would be a horrible mother. 
God help any child that WH brings to this world.